What are we gonna do? Bowling. Yeah. Bowling. It should be, it should be a lot of fun because this place is brand new. I think it's only been there like a year, maybe. I think it's longer than that. A little bit longer? It still looks new. <laughs> yeah. Because America, they gotta do something about their malls. All the stores are leaving because everybody's shopping online. Yeah. It's becoming more of a, uh, a trend. Thing. Yeah. So most malls now, if they're smart, are moving towards entertainment type thing. So like our mall is building a giant gym. They built the entertainment center. They have a rock climbing place. They they're trying. They do, yeah. They're trying even to even the movie theater. I mean, they're trying to make it more appealing yeah, with the seats. That exactly. Climb and all that stuff. So instead of shopping, it's becoming more of an entertainment. Lots more restaurants, that type of thing. Because it doesn't seem like the restaurants are suffering. They're there. So if they can afford the mall rents, they must be doing And all around the mall, too. I mean, I think one year we went out for our anniversary, or we tried to go out for our anniversary, and supposedly the economy was sucking at the time. But every restaurant that we went to was crowded to the gills. You know, that speaks to people's spending habits, too. I mean, even even when the economy's bad and maybe... You still gotta eat. You know, yeah, but you know what? You gotta eat more at home. Yeah, but it was like a Friday night, so... Maybe that's people's one day to splurge. I don't know. But um, we ended up um, at a little Greek cafe, <clears throat> which was funny because uh, we ended up running into the owner, which was somebody that went to my high school. Went to her went went to his high school, sorry. <laughs> Alright, um we were gonna see Angry Birds too today, but for some reason no movie theaters have movies before noon in this area. I was like, what is going on here? Why not? It's summer. It's the it's the dog days of summer. Why are the movies not open before noon? I don't know. What the hell is this coming to? <laughs> anyway, I don't know when we're going to see Angry Birds 2. Probably next week. I don't know. But it's an okay day. It's not too hot because it's kind of cloudy. But hopefully we'll have some fun doing the bowling. And not get hurt because it's been how many years? Uh, well, you know what? Don't we're, try we're and pretend that sore. you're on the freaking PBA, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna we know sore. you used to do league bowling. You don't have to impress us. It doesn't, you know what? Your hand and your legs are going to be killing you tomorrow. Excellent. Well, I don't know what's new then because they're always killing me. Let's see. All right, here we are. We are on lane number one. Sorry for the creepy voiceover, but <laughs> there was a zillion copyrighted songs playing during uh, all of the clips. So we're going to have to do voiceover because I don't want to get demonetized. Mark, obviously, uh, judging from his form, well, and I, and I know this for a fact, played a lot of league bowling growing up. He even had his own shoes. Well, not for this trip, but uh, when we were first married, he had his own shoes and bowling bag and a couple of bowling balls, which we probably still have in the basement somewhere. But um, none of us uh, had bowled in leagues before or <laughs> even bowled a lot. So I felt bad for Sean because um, they were supposed to have automatic bumpers on the lanes and like you could mark um they would pop up out of the floor you'd mark it on the score sheet who um you wanted to have the bumpers pop up for but unfortunately they weren't working and they didn't tell us that and after we bowled the first game they told us uh we could move to a different lane and um but we were already settled in the lane that we were in but poor Sean didn't do very well in the first game and he was getting a little frustrated but um, Mark was the only one who um, broke 100, I think, in the first game. Yeah, he got um, over 100. The rest of us uh, did pretty much crap. Yes, my bowling name was Spike. <laughs> that was my name on my name tag when I used to work for 7-Eleven because I didn't want to put my real name. 
So that's where that came from. But Mark was having a great time, uh, except for today. He's uh, really feeling it, as <laughs> we all are. Uh, I could really feel it in my butt. Look at me walking around like a fool. Um, I, everybody did better in the second um, game than the first game. Uh, I got quite a few gutter balls in my, uh, <laughs> yeah, party on. Um, I got quite a few gutter balls, as did a lot of us. Maddie was hoping to do uh, bumpers as well, but we didn't really need them so much in the second game because we were all warmed up. I'm pretty sure this is a clip from the second, yeah, this is from the second uh, game that we did. We only did two games. Picked up a couple spares. This wasn't one of them. <laughs> Surprisingly, um, I didn't. I don't have a clip of uh, Sean's actual style that worked for him, but Maddie suggested that he do a granny style, uh, roll it between your legs type, um, you know, form, which worked really well for him. I wish we had uh, listened to her and done that in the first game. He probably would have been a lot less frustrated. He still had a good time, though. He was snacking. And he was bopping out to the music, and uh, he just he lo he's loves being social. So it's uh, it was a good time, even though he didn't get such a great score. But he really enjoyed himself. Another gutter ball, unfortunately, on that one. All right, so Maddie was the only one who I think uh, got extra frames. In the, you know, like when you get a strike or a spare in the 10th frame, you get extra bowling. So I think she was the only one who got the extra frame. So this is her uh, extra 10th frame here. And she came so close. She got nine down and she wasn't able to pick up that spare. So, um, oh no, they don't let you pick up the spare. That's right. So she only, she got fun? some extra points. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. Did you have fun, Shawnee? Yes. Yeah, but you? I had lots. I accomplished my goal. I got over 100. I should put on my seatbelt so we don't get a ticket. <laughs> or get hurt. It was expensive though. Oh yeah. I, well, I remember back in the day you could go on a bowling date for $20. Oh, maybe even less than that. Yeah. Well, I mean a good one. Like if you bought me a drink or something. Yeah. We break it down. We paid 16 bucks for shoes. Yeah. So that leaves... They were okay shoes though. They weren't bad. 39 for the bowling. I don't know why people are always ragging on bowling shoes. I think they're pretty stylish, in a way. <laughs> I like them. They're comfortable, too. And I, that place is new, and it's nice. The only thing was the bumpers didn't work, so Sean was a little bit and frustrated the, uh, the first game. A little fan for your hand. Yes. Didn't work. Yeah. And it was getting a little hot in there. It was. But other than that, <laughs> it was great. I'd definitely do again. Look for a coupon next time. Though. Right, please. Yes. Thank you. Whoa, stay in your lane. Not you, the other person. I know. I saw. I'm, I'm explaining to them that you're not a bad driver. I'm not. Bad. You're probably one of the best drivers. I'm a good driver. Um, you're probably the best driver I've ever seen. So, how about that? I could probably drive a race right now if I wanted to. <laughs> Are you ready to leave on the PVA tour? Yeah. <laughs> if they have a potato bar. Yeah, 32 topping potato 32. bar. 3200? No, it was 32. It was 32. You sure? Yes. Yeah. Honey, how many times have we heard that movie? Are you sure? I thought that was like Baskin Rob. No, it was 32 topping potato bar. Okay. Get with it. Look at us escaping the house. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is a lot of um, vent. I'm sorry for the wind noise, guys. But we are... Um, Going out shopping, as if today wasn't exciting enough with the bowling. Um, we're gonna meet Kristen for a little evening shop. Should be fun. Yeah. Probably won't buy. Ooh, this person is yeah, dangerous. Um, probably won't buy anything, but I do like to peruse. It doesn't cost anything to peruse. No. And I like it. And you just may find the bargain or something that you've been looking for for a long time for a good price. Yes. And I want to reward myself a little bit because I cleaned out the two cabinets in the kitchen, two double cabinets above the, um, the disaster counter. 
<laughs> yes, the disaster counter, the one that has the microwave on it. Because I think the last time we gave that like a harsh cleaning out is probably like, I want to say like 10 years. Am I right? It was when I broke my foot. And you, you said, I'm cleaning out this cabinet. And you threw away a lot of stuff. I didn't throw away quite as much stuff this time, but I did give it a very good organization and I did put a lot of stuff into jars so that it's, it's very simple to see where everything is and the condition that it's in. Some things had um, <laughs> spoiled, let's say, and uh, I had to get rid of those for sure. And some things were really old. Yeah, I'm surprised at the, the glass canister that didn't protect that better. You know what happens when you open a canister, even if it's glass and it has a seal on it, those little shits are waiting underneath the lid and if you don't notice them, you put the lid back on and they get in there. Could be. Yeah, and then they're locked in there. That is definitely a possibility because I noticed when I was taking some of them out, there were um, some hiding under the lip of the um, glass jar. Yeah, that seal may not be that good either. I think the seal is good on like the canning jars, but like yeah, the canisters, jars, yes. not not as great. No, not the, not not the great. canister. You just pull it off. Yeah. But like I said, they're waiting there. They're waiting. And I said, not today, Satan. So those didn't make it into the um, stuff because I got rid of them. <laughs> so we're just going to check out the store. All right, we made it home. Okay. We got some cheap dog toys. Well, Lucy, here, Lucy. All right. <laughs> They're happy. What were they like? Um, one was four dollars and the other one I think was uh, two dollars and change. And we got Chipotle. Mmm. This is the first time I'm trying the sofritas. I think I've only had Chipotle one time ever. Two. You too? So we got three burritos and one bowl for Mad because uh, she's working hard right now. She's filming. Hopefully she'll be done soon so she can eat some food because it's after nine. <laughs> we should definitely uh, watch Good Omens first yeah. episode or something. We're done with Los Spookies. I think they like their toys. Oh, they just switched. We got a vet <laughs> bark box one, and we have a Mexican wrestler. <laughs> so that's cool. Oh, they switched. Lucy, Lucy's going after the Mexican wrestler, and Bowie is going after the vet lady. You like it? You like it? <laughs> you like it? You like it? You like it? <laughs> I think they like it. Oh, they switched again. Here, Lucy, you want that one back? There you go. Okay, everybody's happy. What's going on? Oh, we didn't get to watch our video. No, we'll watch tomorrow. tomorrow Morning? Uh, breakfast. Oh, okay, good. <sighs> you have to see the rest of Good Omens, too. We started the first episode tonight. It is so good. I'm so glad that I read the book first. Yeah, because now you know what's going on. Well, I mean, it's entertaining, I think, even if you didn't read the book, but... I'm getting so much enjoyment out of it. What about that devil? Well, he's not the devil. He's I know. Demon. The contacts freak me out. I was Ooh. just going to say, he had the special person come on set to do the contacts. But David Tennant is so perfect in that role. Yes. And Michael Sheen is so perfect in his role. Yeah. It's just, I'm really looking forward to watching the rest of that series. It's so good. I'm going to oh, lay back down in my nest for a second. I <sighs> hope this is a good look. <laughs> but it looks like... I don't know. 
dead. Uh, they feel dead. It's been a long week. Bowling was fun. Bowling was fun. Shopping was fun. Chipotle was fun. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Yeah. We're going somewhere fun on Sunday now. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm just tired. <laughs> There's a lot that's got to get done tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I just want it all to get done. I'm going to bed now. It's closing time. If you know what that means. You don't have to go home, but you can stay here. Oh my god. I was going to wish what? Bonnie a happy birthday in the spoiler, and I totally forgot. Oh. Bonnie, I'm sorry. I hope you had an amazing day. You blew it. I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry she sucks, Bonnie. <laughs> Just kidding. She, um... Doesn't suck that bad. I mean, she's <laughs> <laughs> only ninety percent of the time. Yeah, I'll go. I'll go with eighty-seven percent. Just kidding. You're doing a great <laughs> job. Happy birthday again, Bonnie. Happy I hope birthday, it was Bonnie. amazing. Um, yeah, that's where we are. That's our story, and and we're sticking to it. <laughs> so thanks for watching. You're awesome. And until next time, watch out.